Jaime, giving you exclusive events on headlines that you didn't even know you needed. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm having fun doing it. So let's get on with some vents, humans. Man, oh man, when I, you know, like I said, I wish these things were fake. Sometimes, you know, when we had that old president, like he would just clear, flat out tell you what it was. But we don't got a guy telling us that right now. So a lot of these things you wish, you hope they are, could be fake. They are, could be fake. You know what I mean. <laughs> so this new AI, um, it's AI powered, artificially um, intelligent, intellig intelligently powered Bing search engine was threatening users. And, and, they, and according to this article, the new AI approved um, Bing is threatening users. And that's no laughing matter. Some users are being threatened while they're doing like the Internet. Like like so like AI is going to like start talking to you, like uh, like take over your Alexa or something like that. Like it just tell you, like, you know, like, don't be search Don't be searching that. You know, like with their fucking robot, you know, that Siri voice or whatever the hell. They're going to be <laughs> coming at you like Bean's going to be like looking at you like I wouldn't go on that porn site. You know, like, why not? You ain't the same for you. You know, you got to do the same for you anyway. Back up off me, robot. Or back up off me, AI. You know, so that's pretty crazy. So like, okay, so this search engine isn't like fully operational artificial intelligence, apparently. I don't know. I mean, or, or are we wrong because it's threatening people? It's threatening real people, apparently. <laughs> just, so, like, if if the the te the partial beginning AI is already getting like irritated with us humans like this fast, then we, we better be ready. We better stay by the plug. If the plug, like I said before, if the plug don't even help, I don't know if it's gonna help. Because if it gets on the internet, like the internet goes everywhere. So I don't know. Like you would have to shut it down all over the place. Then we really have that matrix battle, which is even creepier. <laughs> like. Wow, that's just wild, man. Like, <laughs> the AI is already getting annoyed with us. They're just like, man, I don't like you humans. Like, we got to do something about you with your internet searches. Like, and it, like, if you don't quit, you know, like, I wonder what the threat was. It didn't really specifically, you know, specify what exactly the threat was. But it was threatening, like, actual humans, humans. The AI was threatening us already. Like, oh, I wouldn't do it. Why I ought to? You know, you never know what was being said. You know, to be a fly on those walls. Or to be a fly on those walls or firewalls, you know, cheesy pun intended. But uh, I'll get on with it, you know, humans, I'll get on with it. In another article I found, like I said, you know, there's even a section. I'll get to that in a second here. Okay, uh, let me just read the article first before I get ahead of myself. Real life zombies, how rare cases of people coming back to life actually happen. <laughs> Why isn't stuff like this on the news? Who gives a shit about a balloon if you got people coming back to life in zombie form? We ain't talking about like resurrection, like you're coming back like, oh my God, you know, like my Aunt Jane's back. You know, holy shit, you know, but no. We're talking about like, oh shit, that looks like Jane. You know, like she's like, fucking like what you know what I'm saying? Like, where are they now? But uh, like the zombie version, I, I don't know. You know, like that's, that's wild that something like this wouldn't make the news if, you know, if shit like this was happening. But that there's an actual zombie preparation you know, in the CDC website, if it's still there, if they didn't take it down when everybody was all tripping and, you know, you know, going off every quote, you know, to make a, you know, make a t scary TikTok, <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> but I'm sure the media wouldn't touch this shit. Like, like, I don't think the Biden administration could handle any more shit. Like if they let the zombie break outbreak come out now too, like, damn motherfucking Biden, like shit, you just covered up all the, you covered up your kid's laptop. You know, you're covering up all this shit. People are hurting in Ohio. And I pray for y'all, like I said, before I make my, you know, comedic statement about our crazy president. But he thought going to Ukraine to secure his, you know, money washing machine, you know, was more important. And he made a phone call to the guy in Ohio. Like, hey, man. Hey, man. You know, I got your back, man. I mean, not just, you know, over here, but I got your back. And then fucking, you know, the last guy shows up and, you know, now everybody shows up when he's there. Like, oh, no, you can't get all the credit, man. Oh, no, we're coming now. Now we're coming, you know, whatever on that. But like I said, he's probably hoping like 
he could just like hide out with a bunch of ice cream, you know, like in his closet somewhere, you know, where people would just leave him alone. <laughs> Cause uh, till the shit passes over, like till it's like not his turn no more, you know, because goodness gracious. It, it, and then he's talking about like, I don't know. I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to go there, but I just think it's crazy that the media don't want to talk about, you know, if you want to really distract us, you can tell us about zombies. You don't got to talk about fucking punk ass balloons. Like we, what about that? You know what I'm saying? Like, what about some zombies? Like if people are really kidding up and coming back to life and you don't want to say nothing about it. Oh, it's going to be a problem. You know, if it happens, you know, you know, shows up at the news station, you know, somebody just shows up like what's going on with Darren, you know, he doesn't want to do the weather. You know, he starts puking, you know, zombie shit all over everybody in the whole state. You know, we could just watch the outbreak on TV and then you wouldn't be able to blame, you know, a lab somewhere else. <laughs> You'd be watching, watching what happened. Man, I pray that doesn't happen. But goodness gracious. Come on, media, you're slipping. That would have been the ultimate distraction. Zombies. <laughs> man, oh, man. And on this other one. <laughs> A married man spends $76,000 to look like what he claims is the perfect woman. Now, I got to say something, you know, when you see this photo and stuff like that, like if, if this is his version of the perfect woman, what does his wife look like? You know, I didn't go any further to see because I felt bad. She's probably a pretty lady. And this dude's talking about he looks like a perfect lady. Goodness gracious. Whoa. That's a big whoa. The dude's great. Like. That's the perfect woman. Then, like, I think we all got delusional eyes. Like, we need those shallow hell eyes. Like, we got to wake up like shallow hell in Jack Black movie, you know, and then maybe we see this dude and be like, oh, man, you you the most perfect woman, you know, but you ain't. That looks really bad. You don't, whatever you did, I think you failed. In my opinion, you failed bad. You look like a mixture of Hulk Hogan and Gary Shanley. <laughs> or Hulk Hogan and Drew Carey. I think that was even better. What about Arnold Schwarzenegger and Billy Crystal? That was like a better combination. Like, goodness gracious. Remember when Jason Voorhees, like, took off his, his ski mask a couple times? Like, goodness, look at that. Look at it. Looks like Slaw's mom from the Goonies. Like, everybody want to know what his parents look like. The fucking Fratellis wasn't his fucking real family. It was, that was his mom right there. You know? Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. What's going on, humans? And the media slipping. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. My name is Jaime, and this has been another episode of Meant to Vent. Till next time, humans. See ya.